Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 99 overall enforcer career simulation on NHL 22. So I hope everyone is doing fantastic here. I'm just quickly going through the details of Doug Glatt uh, from the movie Goon. Not sure if you guys have seen it or not. But anyway, that's who we have here today. All 99s, as you see, and abilities. I tried to give some more physical abilities where I could. Did I miss some? Maybe, because I didn't really pay super close attention, because I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. But anyways, Doug Glatt at the top of the draft list there, above Shane Wright. And we have Colorado winning the Stanley Cup in year one, but I'm not actually considering this year one because Glatt isn't really in the league yet. So yeah, this is year zero, technically. Ottawa moved up from seven to one in the draft, and they will capitalize here, picking up on Doug Glatt, the 99 overall enforcer. Shane Wright went second overall. And then we've got Pitkinen third overall there to the St. Louis Blues. So now in year one, officially, we got Jimmy, Doug Glatt, and Brady Kachuk playing together. Shabbat and Brandstrom will be the top pair. Murray going to be probably sharing the starting role there and obviously an entry level contract. The team misses out on the playoffs in year one, finishing sixth in the Atlantic division. We have Doug Glatt playing 77 games. So apparently 99 durability just isn't enough. But anyway, what a year. 51 goals, 92 points, winning a few trophies here in his first season. Patrick Marlowe is the top retiring player. And in year number two, we have Pavelski taking the place of Jimmy Superstar, which I'm not a huge fan of, but you know, it is what it is. Shabbat and Brandstrom as the top pairing. Murray and Dreger will be the goaltender tandem, and the team finishes sixth in the entire league this time instead of their division. 104 points, 49 wins. Doug Latt with 81 points this year, and the Stanley Cup will go to the St. Louis Blues for year number two. No trophies for Glatt this time around, and a first round exit to the Tampa Bay Lightning, taking seven hockey games. Jumbo Joe, far and above the rest here, with 1,617 points. And Stutzla is now up to 90 overall. He will be back on the first line. Brandstrom and Shabbat still the top defensive pair. And once again, the Sens have a pretty good goaltender tandem here. They finish second in the league, only one point behind the Toronto Maple Leafs. Glatt puts up 91 points, playing 82 games this year and getting 46 goals. Jimmy with 100. Love to see it. The Rangers are the Stanley Cup champions this year. No trophies for Glatt again this time around. And they did make it past the first round. They got to round number two against the Rangers, where they would lose in seven. And Eric Stahl is the top retiring player for year number three. Entering year number four, we have the same first line there for the Senators, the same first defensive pair. And now we got Anderson and Pavel as the two goaltenders. A new five-year, $10.6 million contract is signed for Doug the Thug Glatt. The team finishes third in the league with 108 points. Glatt puts up 90. So we can already kind of see the difference with just the player type, because obviously the stats are the same. They're 99 across the board. But clearly the player type makes quite a difference. The Sens would lose to the Stanley Cup winning Pens in the conference finals. They are taking seven games. We still have the same first line. Kachuk, Jimmy, and Doug Glatt. Shabbat and Brandstrom still up there as well. And in net we got Jeremy Swayman and Gravel as the backup. The Senators finish seventh in the league with 100 points. Doug the Thug leads the team with 88 points this year. 49 tucks. Not a big deal. And the Carolina Hurricanes are going to be Stanley Cup champions. No trophies for Doug this year either. A first round exit in a pretty convincing fashion there to the Maple Leafs. And Evgeny Malkin is at the top of the year number five retiring class. The first line remains intact here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Shabbat and Brandstrom still the top pair. And we got Swayman and Copley as the two goaltenders. The team finishes fourth in the league. Another successful year with 112 points, 50 tucks from Glatt, and 96 points overall. The Golden Knights win themselves a Stanley Cup. I guess this would be the first one in franchise history. We got a first round exit from the Senators again to the Rangers this time, taking seven games. And Ovechkin retires with 1,013 goals. You absolutely love to see it. First line, once again the same here for year number seven. First defensive pair, once again the same. And once again, the goaltenders change up. So that seems to be the most common difference. The team did not have a great year, finishing seventh in the Atlantic. 78 points from Doug Glatt in 82 games. Here's just sort of an update on his playoff stats. 
up till this point. And the Toronto Maple Leafs would go on to win the Stanley Cup this year. No trophies for Doug once more. And the Senators didn't even make the playoffs this year, so I'm not too sure why I showed that. Um, that is an editing error, but I do this commentary live, so I'm kind of just noticing that now, and it's going to stay in for that reason. First line, still the same. First defensive pair, you guessed it. And in net, we got Alnefelt, and I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that guy's name. But we have a President's Trophy for the Ottawa Senators this year. 89 points from Doug Latt. Jimmy with 104, so they are doing quite well together. Another playoff stat update there, and another Stanley Cup for the Golden Knights. They are on fire at this very point in time. The Senators are deleted by the Blue Jackets in round number one, taking six games. That's not the first time the Jackets have put out a President's Trophy winning team. Sidney the Kidney retires just shy of 2,000 points. What a career from the lad. Shabbat, Baranstra, it's basically the same, all right? Well, I mean, the first pairs and the first lines are the same. Goaltenders change up again. A brand new $13 million contract over eight years for Doug Glatt. Team finishes second in the league, only to be behind Toronto by seven points. Doug Glatt with 88, and he was a plus 40. The San Jose Sharks are the Stanley Cup champions this year. All in the felt going off for the Maple Leafs there. And the Senators did make it all the way to the Stanley Cup finals, but got put out by the Sharks in seven. How devastating is that? Can't believe it, but it is what it is. We got... The same first line. I'm loving it though. You know, good for them. If they can keep it together and it's working, then by all means. And normally teams, like the AI teams, don't really do that. So at least that's what I found anyway. So it's pretty cool that they are actually sticking with it. Doug Glad with 87 points this year. And this is like a Jimmy Superstar career sim as well. He, he is boosting up the other players. I'll tell you that for free. All right, no charge on that one. Anyway, the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim are the Stanley Cup champions this year. Shane Wright finally making a presence there in the awards. The team is deleted by the Leafs in seven games in round number two. And Tyler Sagan is the top retiring player for year 10. Same line again, as you probably guessed, same top defensive pair. And in net, we've got Casa at 80 overall. Team finishes seventh in the league with 102 points. Doug Glatt finishing with 91 points for himself in 82 games. Played 25 playoff games this year. Got 30 points, and that's right, they finally did it. They won themselves a Stanley Cup. So that is going in the trophy case for sure. We also saw a trophy there for the Superstar, and they only went to seven games one time, and that was actually in round one. Nate Mack, Nathaniel McConan is the top retiring player this year. Brady Kachuk starting to go down in overall, but the first line remains, and so does the top defensive pair there. Uh, Rodrigue, I'm not even fully sure if that's how you pronounce his name. But anyway, he's the starting goaltender. Team finishes 12th in the league and will make the playoffs. What a year for Doug Lapp, putting up 101. Played seven playoff games this year and put up four points, so not super ideal. But it is what it is. They won the cup last year. You can't really expect back-to-back. -back. The Devils are the champions this year. The Sens would be deleted by the Leafs again in seven games. Barkov is the top retiring player this year with 1,429 points. And Kachuk is officially... Gone, all right? But the top defensive pair is the same there. Goaltenders once again changing up. They are just fine without Kachuk right now, though. 100 points, and we got 77 from Doug Glatt. The team made 12 playoff games this year, and Glatt put up 7 points in those games. And no trophies for Doug Glatt once again this year, which is very different compared to the Playmaker slash Sniper 99 overall. Um, they did make it past the Leafs this year, but they were... Destroyed by the Devils in round number two. And Connor McDubstep is the top retiring player that year. So Karkner will stay on the first line. Brandstrom and Chabot will stay together. But they are now the second pair as their overall has dropped quite significantly. And it is a poor year for the Senators. Seventh in the Atlantic. We get 67 points in only 70 games from Doug Glatt. And another Stanley Cup for the Golden Knights. They have had quite a simulation going on here. Austin Matthews is at the top there. And I think, you know, that sort of right there is the Austin Matthews greater than Patrick Laine. Argument closed because EA said so. Just kidding. I'm not getting in on that. But anyway, seventh in the league, the Senators will find themselves this year. Doug Latt, 104 points. What a legend. Played 11 playoff games and put up 11 points. But the Colorado Avalanche are going to win themselves the Stanley Cup this time around. No trophies for Doug, and the Senators are out in round number two, 
the Panthers beat them in seven games. Sebastian Aho at the top of this retirement class with 1,619 points. Superstar and Glatt still together on that first pair. And we have a very different looking team now overall. But the Senators will get 103 points. They're still good. Ninth in the league. 87 points out of Doug Glatt. And seven playoff games this year with eight points. I haven't really been paying attention to penalty minutes either. So I'm not sure if that has actually gone up. Considering he is an enforcer. But if it has, let me know. I'm curious now. I'll probably check myself as well. But a first round exit from the Senators to the Montreal Canadiens. Stutzla and Glatt are still together on that first pair. Unfortunately, no more Brandstrom, no more Shabbat. A new two-year, $11.5 million contract. The team finishes third in the league with 110 points and 52 wins. Doug Glatt puts up 90 points this year. And the Smashville Predators take home the Stanley Cup. And there's also another Jay Hughes there on the Devils. I don't know if you saw that. That's pretty interesting. A first round exit to the Tampa Bay Lightning. They pushed six games and Glatt puts up nine points in those six games. And Zadina will be the top retiring player for year 17. Now entering year number 18, Jimmy and Glatt are finally separated here. That goaltender has been there for quite a bit actually. So hats off to him for surviving. 103 points will have these Senators finishing second in the league. Once again, six playoff games, only five points from Glatt this year though. And the Edmonton Oilers had an absolutely dominating season. We once again see a first round exit from the Ottawa Senators, this time at the hands of the Detroit Red Wings. And Doug the Thug Glatt calls it quits in year number 18 with 1,594 points in 1,455 games. His best season being a 104 point season. So it is actually significantly different. I didn't think player type would make that much of a difference, especially considering all their attributes are the same. But apparently it does, and I guess it could potentially also have something to do with the X Factors. I'm not totally sure, but I'm just spitballing here. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. That was a very interesting one for me anyway. I did enjoy seeing how much, you know, certain things can actually affect how well a player does to that extent. Especially, like I said, because they do have the exact same attributes. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you soon.